Good day, students. Welcome to our science class. I am your science teacher, Sir Roy M. Kapul. For today's lesson, we are going to discuss Boyle's Law. Let us start first with our lesson map for today. First, we are going to familiarize ourselves with the person or the scientist behind this law, who is Robert Boyle. Next, we are going to explain what is Boyle's Law all about. Then, we are going to apply the formula of Boyle's Law in a sample word problem. And of course, we're going to appreciate the different real-life application of Boyle's Law. So let us begin. Who is Robert Boyle? Robert Boyle was born on January 25, 1627 in Ireland. He is an Anglo-Irish natural philosopher and theological writer. He is the person who discovered that the volume of a gas decreases with increasing pressure and vice versa. This is the famous Boyle's Law. Now that we are familiar with Robert Boyle, let us now discuss Boyle's Law. By definition, Boyle's Law states that at constant temperature, the pressure of a gas varies inversely with its volume. In this definition, there are two variables that are mentioned. We have pressure, and volume. Let us differentiate the two. When speak of the pressure, it is the force exerted by the gas molecules on the walls of its container, divided by the surface area of the container. On the other hand, when we talk about volume, the volume of a gas is equal to the volume of its container. This is because the gas occupies all the spaces available in its vessel. In addition, there are several units of measurement that we use to indicate the volume of the gas. These include liter, milliliter, cubic meter, and cubic centimeter. On the other hand, the common units of pressure and their equivalent are as follows. We have 1 atm is equal to 1.013 times 10 raised to the fifth power newton, meter square, newton over meter squared, which is also equal to 1.013 times 10 raised to the fifth power pascal. 1 atm is equal to 760 torr, which is also equal to 760 millimeters mercury. Now, let us discuss the relationship between the variables in Boyle's Law. In Boyle's Law, we can say that the volume of a gas is inversely proportional to pressure. Mean to say, as the pressure increases, the volume decreases, and vice versa. Therefore, the general formula for Boyle's Law is P sub 1 or the initial pressure multiplied by the initial volume or V sub 1 is equal to the final pressure or P sub 2 multiplied by the final volume or V sub 2. Again, we have P sub 1 multiplied by V sub 1 is equal to P sub 2 multiplied by V sub 2. If the initial pressure is missing, P sub 1 is equal to P sub 2 multiplied by V2 divided by V1. If the initial volume is missing, the formula is V sub 1 is equal to P2 multiplied by V2 divided by P1. If the final pressure is missing, the formula is equal to P sub 2 
is equal to P1 multiplied by V1 divided by V2. If the final volume is missing, the formula is V sub 2 is equal to P1 multiplied by V1 divided by P2. These are the possible formula that we can use in order to solve word problems. Okay, now that we are familiar with the different formulas, let us proceed with the sample word problem. Given this problem, at 0 degrees Celsius and 10 atmosphere, a given sample of gas is occupies 55 liters. The gas is compressed to a final volume of 15 liter at 0 degrees Celsius. What is the final pressure? In solving word problem, let us always follow this format. Let us first find out the given, next formula, followed by solution, and of course, the final answer. Let us begin with the given. Based on the problem, our initial pressure or P sub 1 is equal to 10 atmospheres. Our initial volume is equal to 55 liters. Our final volume or V sub 2 is equal to 15 liters. Therefore, the missing variable in our problem is the final pressure or P sub 2. Now, let us proceed to the next step. We are going to find out the formula. Since we are looking for the final pressure, the formula is P sub 2 is equal to P sub 1 multiplied by V sub 1 divided by V sub 2. Next, let us proceed with the solution. P sub 2 is equal to P sub 1 multiplied by V sub 1 divided by V2. This is our formula. We need to substitute all the given in our formula. Therefore, we have P sub 2 is equal to 10 atm multiplied by 55 liters divided by 15 liters. Based on this particular chemical, uh, for this particular formula, or equation, we can cancel similar unit, and that is our liter. Now, we can first solve for the numerator. 10 atmospheres multiplied by 55 liters, that is equivalent to 550 atmospheres. And then divide it by 15. We will arrive at the final answer. Our final pressure is equivalent to 36.67 atmospheres. Now, let us proceed to the different real-life application of our Boyce's Law. The first one is our syringe. The working principle of a syringe is like reciprocating pump. When the plunger is pushed, the fluid will inject and the plunger is pulled, the fluid will withdraw. The pushing of the plunger reduces the volume of the fluid in the barrel. This reduction in the volume causes a momentary increase in the pressure of the fluid and the fluid is injected into the patient's body. Next is the air bubbles on the surface of water. Air bubbles expand as they ascend in water. As the bubble rises, the surrounding pressure of the liquid decreases. And according to Boyce's law, the air bubbles expand. Next application is the bicycle pump. A hand bicycle pump works similar to a syringe. When the handle of the pump is pushed down, the pressure inside the pump will increase momentarily. In other words, the gas inside is compressed. As a result, the pressurized gas is forced inside the tire of a vehicle. And the last application is the human lungs. 
the human lungs are important organ of the body. As the lungs expand, there is a momentary reduction in the pressure. Thus, the pressure inside the body is lower than the outside. Consequently, the surrounding air slips in the body. This process is called inhalation. When the lungs relax, the volumes of the lungs decreases, which increases the pressure momentarily relative to the outside, and the air is exhaled from the body. This is the coverage of our lesson for today. Hope you learned something from today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching.